Hey Carb Crunchers, it's Freely the Banana Girl here today. I want to talk to you about a question that most of society is obsessed with asking you if you're a raw vegan or a vegan. Do you know what it is? I think you do. But where do you get your protein? Yes, the protein question. But where do you get your protein? I get my protein from human flesh. Seriously though, you get most of your protein from your own flesh. You recycle the cells that sloth away from the intestinal wall and from used up digestive enzymes. So they actually add to your protein pool and you get most of your protein from your own flesh. Pretty cool. But where do you get your protein? Same place the strongest animals on the planet get their protein, from plants. But where do you get your protein? I actually make sure I don't get too much protein. That's one of the reasons I don't eat animal products. Because too much protein in the blood is a very bad thing. It causes your body to leach alkaline minerals such as phosphorus and calcium from your bones to buffer that acidic environment. Essentially, you're peeing your bones down the toilet when you're eating animal products. And have you ever stopped to wonder why the places, the regions in the world with the highest rate of osteoporosis also have the highest rate of dairy consumption. But where are you getting protein from? I get my protein from the decomposing carcass of a tortured animal. Actually, no, that's where you get your protein. I get mine from fruits and vegetables. And they don't scream and they don't bleed. Where do you get your protein? Protein? Nah, I don't get my protein. As you can see, I'm in the final stages of death. How about we settle this with a fitness test? So where did you get your protein? Do you actually know how much protein you need? I didn't think you did. According to the World Health Organization, 5% of daily calories needs to come from protein. They came up with this figure back in 1974. They actually came up with the figure 2.5% and they doubled it to 5% just in case. And so based on a 3,000 calorie diet, that's only 37 grams of protein per day. And I've got it covered. Where do you get your protein? You like cow or goat? I like dog. Didn't you know dog is one of the best sources of four-legged protein? But where do you get protein from? I get my protein from fruits and greens. Even if I was just to eat fruits, they run at about 5-7% to of calories from protein. The World Health Organization says 5% of daily calories from protein. Even watermelon gets 7%. Beans and vegetables, they get about 25% of calories from protein. And they've got grains, about 15%. So plant foods have it all. But where do you get your protein? Have you ever met anyone with a clinically diagnosed protein deficiency? You haven't? Me either, because it's never been medically documented. There isn't even a medical term for protein deficiency. Merasmus and Quagioca are caloric deficiencies. It's actually impossible to design a protein deficient diet based on sufficient calories from whole plant foods. But where do you get your protein? Fruit has 5-7% to calories from protein on average, and that's the same as mother's milk. A mother's milk allows a baby to double its birth weight by six months old. Okay, so that's the time where we, when we're going to need the protein. We want that growth, not as we're getting older. I like to eat my hair. There's heaps of protein in hair, you know. Saving the planet, one banana at a time. Stop asking me that question.